but you can have, do, or be anything you want if you controlled your mind. What can people know right now or learn from you right now about this concept of this law of attraction as far as what you think about and what you really concentrate be ends up what you bring into your life? I mean, what are some basic elements of that? Because I've heard you talk about this in detail, but I still think most people don't know how to actually practice it. The very first step is you have to become aware of your current thinking. Most people don't realize that their thoughts are in the toilet, that they're, re they're listening and, and to themselves say negative things about 70,000 times a day. 70,000. 70,000. There are some research studies that are showing it's higher than that. And the other thing that's more startling is that they're mostly repetition. They're the same thoughts. They're things like, I'm not good enough, it's not going to work out, this stuff works for other people, works for Joe Vitale, but it doesn't work for me, works for the people in the secret, but it doesn't work for me. Um, they want to do things, but they think, um, you know, the economy's wrong, the president's wrong, um, the timing is wrong, I don't have enough education, I don't have enough experience. All of these kinds of negative thoughts keep people shut down. They don't go for their dreams. They react to life, they kind of crawl through life uh, with no enthusiasm, no sort of energy and no belief in themselves or the possibilities of something better. The law of attraction and the law of attraction is basically saying whatever you focus on uh, with energy and repetition is what you're going to tend to bring into your life. What the law of attraction is teaching people is that you have a choice. You can change your thinking. One way to look at this is the thoughts you're having right now are primarily negative. So that's the first thing to notice. Your thoughts are primarily negative. The second one is you're not your thoughts. You are separate from your thoughts. And this is massive earth-shaking news if somebody's hearing it for the very first time. There have been books that are called You Are Not Your Mind. You Are Not Your Brain. And what they're saying is these thoughts that we're having, we're having them. We're not them. If we can detach enough to go, oh, here comes that, I'm not good enough thought again, and let it go by, we are one step removed from it. Now we've, we've clipped off that energy that was causing us to feel bad because of that thought. So that's the second step, is to become aware that I'm not my thoughts. Third step is to start to generate what you do want to think. And this is where things like affirmations, positive thinking, positive statements, instead of saying I'm not good enough, begin to say I am good enough. Begin to say, this can work out for me. If this uh, material has worked for other people, why can't it work for me too? You know, I'm human, they're human, and you can start to rebuild your software of the mind if you want. Uh, and these are all elements, and then there's, you know, we can get into details like what you're going to tend to bring into your life are things that you think about a lot. Most people think about the things they're afraid of, the things that they're worried about. I tell people, why don't you start thinking about the things you love, the things you're passionate about. Uh, you're going to go in a new direction. You'll be happier. You'll be healthier. You know, you're going to have better momentum, better enthusiasm. So the repetition of that is going to be a big thing. Emotion, going with those feelings of passion, is going to fuel you to go in a direction that you prefer. And actually having an image. And the image could be a graphical representation of what it, you want. It could be a house. It could be a car. It could be a job. It could be a pile of money. It could be spiritual awakening, whatever you can do. Because the brain, the retention, activating system in the brain responds to repetition, imagery, and emotion. You can program it for what you want. You're getting your own reality. You are creating your own reality from your beliefs. You change your beliefs and you will get a different reality.